So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this iPhone 6s Plus versus Huawei Ascend XT versus Video. Now I know what a lot of the trolls and all the haters might be saying right out of the gate, look, this fit comparison is not fair, iPhone 6s Plus is way out of the league of oh, a Huawei Ascend XT, this budget smartphone. But that's not why I create these videos. The reason I create these videos is you might be somebody who can actually go pick up an iPhone 6s Plus, but you've seen this Huawei Ascend XT for 150 bucks, and you're like, you know what? I don't really need a flagship smartphone. So that's why I compare these babies. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test here. Three, two, one. And let's talk about these specifications. So the Apple iPhone 6s Plus is going to be rocking an Apple A9 CPU with two gigabytes of RAM, whereas the Huawei Ascend XT is rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 616 octa-core CPU with two gigabytes of RAM. Now on paper, those might seem like they're very similar, but actually the Huawei Ascend processor is more of a lower powered processor. So let me go ahead and put my password in on the iPhone 6s Plus. But the one on the Huawei Ascend is more of a lower powered processor, whereas the Apple A9 is more of a higher powered processor, even though this is an octa-core CPU. And this is a dual core CPU right here. So you can see that the Huawei Ascend XT, as expected, does take longer to boot up, but it wasn't so much longer that we're gonna be waiting all day. And a lot of people don't even care about the boot up test, including myself. I don't really care how long it takes to turn on because we don't turn our phones off every single day. But it is nice to see how fast they do turn on. So I do have some applications lined up here, and we're gonna speed through these really quickly here to see how they perform. But I do wanna mention one thing. The Huawei Ascend XT is running Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow, which is not the latest, but it's not very old either. You can see 6.0.1 Marshmallow. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me bring that closer to the camera. But you can see 6.0.1 Marshmallow, EMUI, -E EMUI 4.1 right there. That can be a little bit of a tongue twister there, EMUI. So over here on the iPhone 6S Plus, we are running iOS 10.1.1 with an update to 10.2 coming here shortly. I know the betas are out, the beta releases are out, but I don't mess around with beta versions on this channel currently. I don't really do that. So over here, 10.1.1, you can see for the iPhone 6S Plus. Now, let's get into the applications test here. We're going to begin with the calendar. So I'm going to do some system-based applications, and then we're going to do the third parties. So let's go into calendar in 3, 2, 1. Let's make sure everything is closed first on both devices let's go ahead and go home and by the way the developer options are turned on by default on the huawei ascend xt so it is a fair comparison let's go to calendar in three two one you can see iphone 6s plus slightly ahead huawei ascend xt will go home every single time to the home screen just due to the fact that it has a capacitive touch button which is faster than a home press that's what the iphone 7 brought with the capacitive touch ID button, that's why it's quicker on the iPhone 7 and that's why they did that. Okay, let's go into calculator. You could see only slightly ahead there on the 6S Plus. So we're talking a $700 smartphone versus a $150 smartphone. Actually, you can get this at Walmart right now. It's a Walmart exclusive, but this can be unlocked. This is a $99 phone currently. Let's go home. You can see Huawei has sent easily back home first every time. So slightly ahead was the iPhone 6S Plus, but you can see just that time to go back home will actually probably even things out. So let's go home here. Actually, I hit the Google button, but the Huawei SM would have been back home first. Let's go into camera. You can see the iPhone 6S Plus, 6S Plus jumped way ahead here on that one. Let's go home. Let's go into settings on both devices. And the 6S Plus won that one. Let's go home here. Let's go into phone. Look like the 6S Plus won that one. Let's go home. But if you can see, the Huawei Ascend XT is doing a very good job at keeping up. Even though it's only slightly behind, it's doing a really good job. Let's go into weather. You can see that one was about even, so I call that one a tie. Let's go home. Huawei Ascend home first. So I think just that whole half a second difference from going home first on the Huawei Ascend XT will actually make you fly into apps almost the same speed as the iPhone 6S Plus because it takes longer. For example, let's try that. See, so I went to settings before I was even able to press it on the iPhone 6S Plus because of that quicker to the home screen first. So let's go home. Let's go into some third-party applications now. Let's go into Appy Geek or Pi Geek. 
on both devices. And the 6S Plus won that one only slightly though. Like this is only slight. This is not going to change your experience of how you use a smartphone hardly at all. Let's go into YouTube. You can see 6S Plus ahead there, but once again, half a second is not going to change how you use a smartphone. I'm telling you guys, it really isn't. Let's go into Amazon. But that's not to say that the iPhone 6S Plus isn't a quicker phone. It is definitely a quicker phone, but it's just going to show that these budget phones are really getting really good. So what I'm trying to say here is you don't need to go out and buy a phone like this if what you're going to be doing is not like a lot of photography because I think what you get with a flagship phone, you're getting diminishing returns in terms of, you know, unless you're going to be using the camera a lot, you really don't get too much more on a flagship phone over a budget device. The camera is really what changes the game for me and my experience on a flagship smartphone. Yeah, you can argue the 1080p versus the 720p HD display, but it's a smartphone. If we want to look at crispy displays, we usually watch our televisions or we look at our laptop monitors or something like that. Let's go into Instagram. And you can see it's very close, but you know what? I'd say that's pretty close to a tie. Let's go into Uber. So the iPhone 6S Plus won that one by quite a good margin. But you know what? Like I say, I'm not saying that the Huawei SNXT is a better phone, faster phone, but it is really good for a budget phone, as you can see throughout this comparison. 6S Plus right there, and now the Ascend XT should be loading up in just a second there. I mean, for what you pay, guys, this feels like a very good value phone here. It doesn't even feel cheap. It has a nice, solid design here. The camera's kind of weak. It's an 8-megapixel camera. But overall, this is a pretty solid device here in the Huawei Ascend XT. We don't need to talk about the 6S Plus. We know it's a great device. We don't need to talk about how it's solid. Let's go into some games now. Let's go into Fruit Ninja on both devices. This is where the iPhone 6S Plus should rock pretty much any device in gaming. Or, you know, the 7 will kill it, but... The iPhone 6S Plus or iPhones in general are highly optimized for gaming, so this is no contest in terms of the gaming. But I mean, guys, I mean, it's so close that it's like, like a second of your life, is that really going to change too much? I mean, a second, come on. What is it really going to change too much? Now, if you're a super, super busy person, I do recommend sticking with iPhone. But if you're not a super, super busy person who could, you know, spare a second or two on an application load time, you really get a hell of a bargain here with the Huawei Ascend XT. So you can see the iPhone 6S Plus was just waiting and waiting and waiting on that one. Let's go into Temper Run. So let's see which one gets there first. As expected, the iPhone 6S Plus, and here comes the Huawei Ascend XT. So, like I say, the iPhone 6S Plus, of course, it's a flagship. Of course, it beat the Huawei Ascend XT. But the point of this comparison was to show you, if you're deciding to go ahead and pick up an XT, that, you know, you're getting a device that performs very well and surprisingly can hold up pretty decently next to a flagship level device. It's $150. This is a $750 phone. You can literally buy this. You can go buy a DSLR camera and forget about the extra great camera that you get on the iPhone 6S Plus, you know, these smartphone cameras are really good, but they're they're nowhere near DSLR. So like I said, you could get this in a DSLR for cheaper than one of these, or you could get this and a point and shoot like the Canon S120 for cheaper than one of these. So like I'm, what I'm trying to say here is the major difference here in these devices is going to be the camera and um, the battery life actually I would say is better on the Huawei Ascend XT and the 6S Plus in heavy use, just because it has a 720p HD display, the same size battery, actually a bit bigger battery, 3000 milliamp hour. Now, in terms of Huawei's user interface, it's very similar to the iOS one, actually one of the closer to the iOS user interface than any of the other Android devices. So let's go into settings, and you can see just looking in general, just looking in general here, it's very similar in terms of the way it looks and feels. So if you want an iOS feeling kind of device, I think Huawei is pretty close in that terms. You can go ahead and throw an iOS launcher on the Huawei Ascend XT and make it look kind of similar to what you're going to get on the iPhone 6S Plus. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and do some multitasking before I wrap this video up. So the multitasking on the Huawei Ascend XT is not the quickest in the world, but it looks a lot like iOS 7, whereas iOS 10 here is a bit different here. It's bigger card view. I actually like this look better, but this is smoother over here on the iPhone 6S Plus. So let's go back to calendar, and you can see this is where a budget phone will show its weaker power. The iPhone 6S Plus can hold applications in the background. 
whereas the Huawei Ascend XT will choke a little bit on reloading applications. But like I say, you're going to catch this phone on sale all year long and going into 2017. This guy is going to drop in price, probably go down to $50 again. So a 6-inch Android for $50 to $150 can hold its own next to an iPhone 6S Plus or a flagship level device. Um, it's not better, of course, but it's a really good bargain. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments section of this video. The winner here is the iPhone 6S Plus, but I hope this video went ahead and showed you that you get a hell of a value if you decide to pick up the Huawei Ascend XT here. I will be doing the full review that's coming soon. This one was just a speed test and I'm comparing it to the iPhone 6S Plus. What phone would you guys choose between, you know, a Huawei phone and an iPhone 6S Plus? Would you pick the XT over this? Would you go with a Mate 8 or a more flagship level Huawei device over the iPhone 6S Plus? Let me know your thoughts on this comparison and Apple versus Huawei and stuff like that. We could chat about that down below in the comment section of this video. And if you enjoyed it, please do me a favor, click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology-based content like this. I will catch you all in the next one. This was Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace. No, no, no.